Hi, I'm Michael Slandry, and the topic is the top 10 reasons for relationship breakups. Top 10. Okay, I guarantee if you're going through a breakup, you're dating someone right now, you probably experienced some of these. But what I want to make sure that you understand is, is that if you have some of these going on, any of these habits show up in your love life right now, it's probably time to make a change. Okay, um, people in relationships all the time. But often there are red flags that would have had, have avoided it had certain things been taken in terms of that. Sometimes you're just not compatible. But these are for the people that have been given warning signs and then when they're broken up, they're like they're so broken hearted and they never knew it, they saw it coming. So here are 10 reasons. Number one, bad behaviors. Okay? Self-explanatory, right? Everybody has bad behaviors in a relationship they need to work on. And if someone tries to get you to work on those things and you don't, well, then what do you think was going to happen? Okay, maybe when you were young, it was cool to be bad, but as adults, people don't have time for that anymore. Okay, time is not redeemable, you don't get it back. Okay, so you want it spent well. You should be laughing and having a good time, and in relationship arguments and fights are inevitable, but they should be far and and, you know, far but far and few between. You shouldn't be having them often, you know. Um, you know, if you're a smoker, stop. If you are abusive in your relationship, stop. If you're a narcissistic, stop. Okay. Number two, cheating. If you've cheated on someone, you probably run your relationship. Let me just look at, look at me when I say this. If you have cheated on someone, 99.9% your relationship is over. Okay. The only time there's a, even a 0.1 in there is when the other person is extremely amicable and they believe they can get past it and they can tell you that if they can't, it's pretty much over. It's time to move on. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. If you're a cheater, you're just, you're just stupid. Okay. And you've made a mis- you've made a mistake, but somewhere in there they think it's a pattern. They don't see it as a mistake. Once a mistake, more than once is a pattern. Okay, and, but your mistake may have been bad enough where you need to start over. Okay, number three, misdirected anger. How many times have you had a lousy day at work, come home, and either got on the phone with your girlfriend or boyfriend, or if you're married, come out to them, and they have they have had to take the heat of whatever happened in your day. Okay, that can only make things worse. I don't know where in you would ever think that would make things better, but it doesn't. Okay, number four, being unsupportive. If you can't support the one you love, then who can you support? Right? I mean, it takes, you know, time and energy to be supportive, but if you don't do it, they're going to have a hard time believing you're ever going to be there for them. This makes loved ones feel invalid when you're not supportive. Okay, number five, toxic people. If you have friends, in your life and your partner doesn't have control issues and it's your friend, you need to rethink those friends or you need to have a conversation with that friend to see if you can clear something up. If you can't, it may be time to remove that friend from your life. If it's control issues, you need to confront that in your relationship. Number six, withholding affection and attention. Okay, when you're not um, affectionate with the one you love, um, they're gonna stop asking for affection because they're gonna start feeling embarrassed. And what happens when they do that? They start to rethink their relationship with you. And there's a lot of things. I'm not talking about just sex, but just attention in general. You know, cuddling on the couch, hand-holding, having great conversation over coffee. As those things come to a close or if they slow down and you stop doing them as much, what do you think is going to happen? It's like, a, it's like an unwatered plant. It's going to start to wither. Your relationship is going to wither and possibly die. Okay. So don't ever do that in a form of punishment to somebody. Number seven, lying. Really? Do I need to explain lying? Okay, it's one thing to say, baby, I didn't take out the trash because you kept bugging me about it. So I just told you I did. So you, you'd let me, leave me alone. It's another thing for a woman to tell you, no, I'm not pregnant. And then she is, but she didn't want to tell you about it. Big lie, small lie. But guess what? Both of them start to erode trust and others are more serious. They just end relationships. Don't ever think a little one's just a little one because a little one can represent um, too much comfort in lying in a relationship. It can erode trust, okay? Number eight, stealing. If you've ever gone through a a breakup and you took furniture that wasn't yours when you moved out, if you took money that wasn't yours when you moved out, if you are that type of person, you have problems. I guarantee it that if you were psychologically evaluated, they will find that you have issues. Material things... Um, aren't going to make your life better. They're not going to make the, the pain you feel from your relationship better. They're not going to make the one that you're leaving want you back. And they're not going to make you, once it's all said and done and you're in your new place, feel better either. Okay? Now, number nine and number 10 are the most crucial ones here. 
Number nine, giving up. Um, couples who do the hard work and face challenges um, who can sometimes withstand the test of time. But giving up is not the same as giving in. Okay, giving in, um, which in process that needs to be considered when you're at odds with another. Uh, relationships are all about compromise in the end. They really are. Remember, you two can disagree. You can agree to disagree. Um, but a disagreement or an argument is inside a relationship. Fighting is finding out if a relationship's about to end. Know the difference. Number 10, which is probably the biggest one there is. And, and this is the one that doesn't matter who you're dating, what you've had in the past go on. Once this falls apart, if you don't fix it, you're going to be left. The person is going to walk away from you. Number 10, not communicating. When it comes to relationships, uh, silence is never golden. Uh, the more you talk, the better you always feel. Science backs that up. Psych psychology backs that up. Psychiatry backs that up. There is nothing that no communication does for a relationship. Okay? It, when you are silent from a relationship, you are denying your relationship the nutrients it needs to move on. Okay? Parts of your relationship start to die with every, I say, two to three days that you don't talk, parts of it start to die, okay? Um, if you don't have good communication, you just can't have a good relationship. Plain and simple. Sit down over a cup of coffee, use your words, not your body language, not your attitude, but your words, um, and you'll get a lot more out of it because changing how you relate can be as simple as dropping a bad habit. Um, it may require some outside input sometimes. Maybe you need to talk to people. Um, if you're engaging in any of the behaviors listed above, then you didn't look at what you're doing and why. And if you love someone, realize that they're probably on the brink of leaving you. And in the end, when they break up with you, do not cry tears. Do not be sad. Do not be heartbroken. Because if any of these things are going on and you're the one doing them, I guarantee if you look at your relationship, they have given you warning signs that it's bothering them. And because they love you, they're wanting you to change it. And if you don't, it doesn't matter who breaks up with who. You know, that's your fault and you have to take ownership. Not being accountable is a part of people who usually do the behaviors, okay? Um, if you're one of those people, when they try to talk to you, cut them off. You're, you're not doing your relationship any favors. If you're one of those people who've cheated in your relationship, it's probably over. It's time to let go. But if you're not communicating or if you're not doing some of the other things I've mentioned above, those are things that are recoverable but as more time goes by, your relationship will wither and die. Relationships require love nutrients, I say. Okay? Um, if you found this topic helpful, hit the like. If you want more information on this topic, contact my team. If you'd like to see uh, certain topics I haven't covered, contact my team, submit them, and we'll go through them and we'll do some topics on them. And if you want to contact me personally to work on these types of things, contact me at the email link below and I will talk to you soon.